dull day it was, but this one this one takes the biscuit really. Um, pretty astonishing story involving Benicophobi, Jez Moxie and Kevin Thelwell. Um, starting with the comments that Moxie and Thelwell made last night, essentially boiling down to you know questioning Phobie's professionalism. Um, is kind of the, the, the strongest accusation that, that was levelled at him. Um, the things about him wanting to leave, the things about him wanting to go and play in the Premier League, I think that's all that all kind of goes without saying, that's not a surprise. Um, but to say that he wasn't trying on, on the pitch, which was certainly what was alluded to, um, is pretty strong, very surprising, not something that normally happens with Wolves. They certainly don't don't go out of their way to wear their dirty linen in public and um, try and keep a low profile whenever they can, um, keep things close to their chest. So it's, it is a surprise. Um, Phobie's reacted predictably, he's, he's defended himself, said you know, he'd never disrespect his teammates, etc. Um, spoke to Kenny Jacket about this today. Um, we must have thrown about 10 or 15 questions at him, and every single one, you know, he, he kind of played straight back to, he didn't want to talk about it, he wanted to move on. Um, you know, the, the, only, the only thing he really said was that people can make their own minds up. You know, they watched the games, they saw him last season and this season, so they can make their own minds up on that front. So hopefully that's the end of the matter, really, for, for as far as it. Everyone will hope that's the end of the matter that's involved in it. Um, and we'll move on from here. Um, as for looking towards the weekend, team news wise, um, Milan and Martinez should be back for Wolves, but Mike Williamson uh, is still out as is Courtney Hawes. Um, and you can read about all this and much more from a very revealing interview we did with Moxie and Thelwell last night on expressingstar.com or in today's paper.